I'm working. Brianna and Grace are inside working on the house and doing school. This afternoon, we've got something we're really excited about. We're going to a friend's house. These are friends who've really inspired us. They moved out into our neck of the woods recently, and they've just jumped right in. They have goats, they have chickens, and they have all these plans. I guess we're actually gonna go over and show you their basic goat setup. They actually bought a nanny goat in milk, so they're milking every day. We had some of their goat milk last week, it was so good, it's made us start thinking about getting goats for milk. So we're gonna show you their setup. I know you'll enjoy that. Hey you guys, your place looks great. Hey. Oh. <laughs> nice knife, Austin. Oh, it fell apart. It fell apart. It's the first one. It's like a pancake. He's making homemade tortillas for us. <laughs> Y'all have a great run. Thank you, I'm super excited. I'm about to get my butt kicked. I really love your barn setup. This is an old carport. How long did it take you to build this? Eight hours. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, it was random too because I had a job lined up to fell through. And about 8.30 in the morning, we went and bought some screws and nails. We dragged it over here the night before with our Land Rover. Yeah. The neighbor's barn was full of this wood and he gave it to us. That's amazing. So, That's awesome. We put it on that trailer. It's the next driveway over and yeah. just in one day. That's awesome. So eight hours for this. And it's all eight quarter, it's all two inches thick. So I mean, it, they've been eating at the walls and kicking it and it hasn't come loose yet, so. The back side of the shelter is open. That's just so resourceful. And he said he spent eight hours on this. He already had the old carport. He closed in three walls. He's planning on closing the back. They want it to be warm for the kid in the winter time. So these are the Nigerian dwarfs? Yes. They're almost a year old. So we're gonna try to breed them in November. They are fertile one time every three weeks. So oh, cool. for three weeks we'll have a billy goat stay over here. Whoa. Hey guys. <laughs> There's nothing up there you want. <laughs> That's an awesome little chicken shed. I love how the egg setup is accessible from the outside here. And then also this is a cool feature. This actually lowers the exterior door on the inside of the run so you don't even have to go in there. What do you think, Joy? So is I that a sweet little hen? For two hundred dollars, with, with the six chickens and all of it. I sweet like, little hen. Yeah, but there's food and water over there, and then you do the nest over here. Look, 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 look. I've got myself. I love that one. We are about to eat some really good Mexican food that our friends made for us and I just wanted to highlight that Rochelle made some queso out of her fresh goat's milk. Rochelle has invited me to come down and milk with her and I'm really excited because I think she's gonna let me try if Annabelle her goat is being cooperative. Is this what you milk into? Yeah so I have a uh, stainless steel um, pail, which is really important, and I pour it into this glass, and then I pour it into my quartz with the filter. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. This is Annabelle. What do you use to wash your teeth? Mm -hmm. Well, you can use... 
So I noticed Austin is your handy helper. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, um, her prior owner, who Nova. is a lovely person, did not milk train her, which means <laughs> having a tried. goat standing and being cooperative for the milking. So it's like, oh, it might take a month or two months oh, to get her fully smoothly. <laughs> so are you, you guys are like a team. Oh yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I just hold her feet to make sure she's not going to spill the milk over. Awesome. And, and then she gets so lazy that she sits down while it's happening. You're going to see me waste some milk and I'm going to just do three squirts out. Hey, shall I have And that gets head. any bacteria that could be there what? gone. The first time I milked her with her owner, she kicked uh, really? the milk over. How much milk are y'all getting right now? Um, three quarters of a gallon. Per day. Per day. That's amazing. That's a lot of milk. Oh, and the goat. Haley, will you hold um, this? Not yet. Yeah. And then um, maybe Brianna can come and, and milk a little. Yeah. <laughs> I get a turn to milk, so we'll see how it goes. I've never milked a goat before. I have milked a cow, but I think that was like 10 years ago. So we'll see. So you grab with your index finger and your thumb, and then you squeeze the milk down. You capture the milk in your forefinger and your thumb, and squeeze the milk down. Okay, not like a cow. So all you you don't have to do anything like that. So you just grasp it, and then squeeze. And if you feel like you captured the milk, and then just push it out. Okay, I'll try. So it's like filling. There you go. I'm just trying not to hurt her. Yeah. Is it okay to really squeeze it? Yes, oh, okay. absolutely. That's what I've been afraid of. I want a milk goat more than a cow. <laughs> it just seems a lot more doable. Do you think we're ready to have goats? You want to go out and milk twice a day on the days I'm working? Creedon, don't come over here, please. Well, not in the winter. <laughs> if I Actually, here's, here's my issue with having animals that I have to take care of when Arthur's at work. Especially like on a time schedule, like morning and evening, is this guy, where's he gonna be? Right. So I don't know if he's safe, I don't know if he's okay, I don't, I can't just leave him in the house alone. Put him in the ergo. I probably could actually put him in the ergo, but look at, you have to like be way down. No, but then I have to get four kids, winter clothes on, winter boots on. Bring the goat in your basement. I gave it back. Lock it up to your basement, milk Milker it. Put the stand in your basement. Let me see. Ooh. Can we try some? Yeah, let's go. I don't know if I would like it warm. Really? I don't know. <laughs> We're drinking it warm. Have you ever had it warm? I've never had it warm. Okay. I love it warm. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Do we cheers? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yummy. It's so sweet. That's delicious. That is so good. It's yeah. like dessert almost. It's so sweet. Mm. Yeah, Thank good. you for sharing that yeah, with you're me. Welcome. It's actually it's sweet, but there's almost a little salty. Yes. Am I tasting salty? I agree. It's like both. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That is just like the richest, creamiest thing I've ever and it's milk. She just and it's fresh. Like it's amazing. 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm.